Hi, my name is Tal Raviv. I'm a cataract and refractive surgeon in New York, and I've been in practice for about 18 years. Identifying and treating dry eye in the cataract surgery population is critical to achieving outstanding outcomes. Dry eye can affect cataract surgery results in three ways, I find. One is uh, dry eye patients tend to have worse symptoms after cataract surgery or dry eye. Number two, their visual outcome may be substandard due to the effect of the tear film on vision, especially in refractive or presbyopic eye wells. And number three, our biometry and refractive targeting can be substantially off by a doctor or more uh, when measured on a dry eye patient. For years, I and other ophthalmologists have looked inside the eye to diagnose and treat dry eye. But more recently, we've started to look outside the eye. There are many root causes of dry eye that exist there. Uh, for example, many of us see rosacea patients. We frequently see telangiectasias around the eye and other inflammatory conditions of the eye that have a direct effect on dry eye. It has been documented that up to 86% of dry eye patients suffer from meibomian gland dysfunction. Uh, we also know that more than 8 in 10 rosacea patients have dry eye. So looking outside the eye has been the way the paradigm of dry eye has shifted in my practice, and that has changed the way we diagnose and treat it for better long-lasting effect. As our techniques for diagnosing and treating dry eye have improved over the last decade, uh, so have our refractive outcomes. Without treating dry eye, can't have a successful cataract and refractive practice. It's that simple. If I can sum it up in one quick sentence, I would say, think outside the eye. <laughs>